Right ladies and men, there we are again with a new paragraph, paragraph 10.2. Uh, we're gonna talk about percentage changes and in this video we're gonna talk about how to calculate the percentage if it is, uh, if it increase and if there will be uh, to calculate the percentage if it decreases. Alright, um, do we still know what the difference is between increase and decrease? Because that's very important. Um, because otherwise we can't do the exercises but increase uh, means it's getting more uh, and the other one it's getting less than the um, old amount where we start with yeah all right so um, still the agreement uh, think about uh, uh, that we need to round the percentage to one decimal place and uh, the difference between increase and decrease uh, we started with theory A about calculate percentage uh, percentage increases uh, and I would like to do it with an example. So in this video uh, we see a uh, TV, a beautiful TV uh, and the price of the TV uh, is um, from 650 euros uh, and it's getting more to 686 euros. Uh, no idea why but um, yeah it, uh, it is more than uh, the old price, the new price, um, and we need to calculate the per percentage increase uh, of the price, so of the uh, 650 euros. So step number one is I would like to know uh, with how many euros it increase. Yeah. So in that case, um, we're gonna um, subtract the two numbers. So to know how many euros it increase we do 786 minus 650 so minus 650 and that's 136 euros yeah so it will increase with 136 euros um, if we want to know with what percentage it will increase um, so the percentage increase uh, we need to divide the 136 always with the old price so with the price where we start with yeah so the price goes from 650 euros to 886 euros uh, which means that the 650 is the old price and the 786 is the new price yeah and you always compare it with the new uh, sorry with the old price uh, so in that case it is dividing with 650 yeah so 136 divided with 650 and multiply it with 100 and that's your uh, percentage increase so 136 divided for six, 650 Multiply with 100 was 20,9% because we need to round at one decimal place. All right. Um, so very important. If we just make a formula from this uh, situation, it is just the percentage increase is the increase in euros or maybe uh, another amount uh, dividing with the old price the old amount and then multiply with 100 all right so here we just know uh, the tv is just increased with 20,9 percent let me just have a look at theory b because uh, it looked like an, a different theory but maybe we can do almost exactly the same uh, let me just talk about a bike bicycle uh, the price for my bike uh, goes from 720 euros to 560 euros calculate the percentage degrees of the price yeah uh, or from the bicycle uh, again um, we need to calculate in this case the degrees of the price so it's 720 minus 560 uh, is 160 euros yeah, so uh, the discount, uh, let me just say that it is, the discount is 160 euros. The question is, um, what is the discount or the percentage degrees of the old price? Now, again, what is the old price? 
the 720 that's the price where we start with because it goes to the new price the 560 percent so to calculate the um, percentage degrees we need to do 160 divide with 720 and then multiply with 100 yeah so divide it with the old price so 160 divided with 720 multiply with 100 then you get 22 comma 2 percent all right so um looking at the formula at theory a it is almost exactly the same as uh, in b because here we're going to talk about the percentage uh, instead of increase it needs to be degrees so um, degrees dividing with the old amount and then multiplying with 100 yeah so those are the formulas and very important to know if we want to calculate the percentage increases or decreases from a certain amount so good luck with the uh, exercises if there are any questions please ask and then i will uh, make an instruction video good luck